Hello folks, welcome to my large layout. Yes, I know is the beginning of this large layout for HO Power Train here. So if you're new, just click into my channel. Please like and subscribe. That's the only way we can continue our, our YouTube experience and get somewhere with this channel, folks. So today we're going to be talking about radiuses and uh, how I like to do them, okay? Now, this is the way I like to do them. This is my opinion. This is the way I'm going to do it. I've done it before in the past. And... I figured that this is the easiest way. So if you're new, you're just wanting to get into this train hobby, this is gonna help you a lot. So watch closely and we can learn together. So we're trying to get some videos out there and kind of get on the map. I have what, three videos now, this will make number four. And uh, it's very slow going on YouTube and YouTube is a different kind of beast on uh, getting somewhere with it, okay? So, Two things we're gonna talk about. We're gonna talk about what I use is cork. I do have styrofoam on here already. And the cork that I'm using is a HO cork you can get from uh, Midwest, um, any, anywhere on, 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 on the internet you can get this cork, okay? So I'm gonna to try to make this simple in, on layman terms, okay? So I'm dealing with an HO scale train, obviously, right? And the radius of an HO train, folks are going to get into it and say, why do I need to know what a radius is? Because the, this is why. I don't want you to glue your track down, find out you have a large locomotive that can't go around a tight radius. Now, in the past, I've um, pushed radiuses and I made it work. It was hard, but I did it. So on this, on this radius, we're going to talk about, you know, get on the point, of course is this is a four foot sheet of plywood four foot 48 inches so we do not want to go all the way to the edge with this so that's going to leave us at a 22 inch radius that's pretty much it's not the minimum but it's it's a small radius for ho scale the bigger the radius the better but we can get away with 22 inches now how do you figure out 22 inches radius means half guys it's half so a 22 inch radius is 44 as a whole. So it's 22 here, 22 here, put it together, it's 44, which we have a 48, and it's gonna leave us two inch on the inside, plenty to navigate on. Now, this is the tricky part. Remember bring y'all closer. For me, I have, I have the, uh, the flex track, right? The, the, the long flex track, you know, I forgot what this is, what, 32, 32 inches, something like that, you guys know. Uh, yeah, 36, look, 36, that's, that's what it is, 36 inches, okay? The problem with that is I, I can put this in a radius, but for me, it's too much time consuming, too hard to do. Uh, you can do it, but that's not what I'm going to do. So what I did, I ordered the radius is pre- um, pre-cut so they snap together so only in my radiuses i'm going to use the join you know the track this long until it makes up my radius what i need so that's going to be easy because they're pre-curved they already got the curve so when i'm putting this in and bending it to what i need to bend it to on that track i know it's a true uh 22 de degree radius and i have no uh problem in gluing it down so that's what i'm going to do on these radiuses here now the straight runs and little small curves over over throughout the layout is going to be of course this okay i mentioned before i don't want that many uh splices but you know you can't get away with that on a ho scale train track okay when we glue this thing down which i'm going to show in future videos we're going to use some clear silicone uh it's caulk it comes in a big caulk we put it on bend it to what we need and we're done now the tricky part is going to be putting the inside rail. That's what I want to do. So, of course, we have our 22. So, we're going to have to go the next smaller size to fit on the inside, which is going to be an 18-inch radius. Pretty much, I'm pushing limits with that. For a large locomotive, guys, you can do it on that, on that size. Um, but I wouldn't go below 15-inch radius um, on a HO scale. You, I'm, again, I proved it wrong in the past, but it's just harder to um, to get right, should I say so. 
So beginners, I hope this video was helpful to you guys, especially with radiuses and how curves and how they're gonna work. Uh, you're gonna see as we continue, but right now we're gonna finish off with the, with the layout. Okay, we're almost done with the platforming and next thing is we'll be gluing track down and getting our trains uh, hooked up and uh, getting scenery. So again, please like and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one.